Right, good evening and welcome back to um Eh, what did I say? Good evening. Evening? Yeah. Oh, it's evening, it's four o'clock, it's afternoon, but afternoon anyway. <laughs> Something a bit random now. And as you've seen from like the new titles that I have um, started doing, I do cover attractions as well. Um, so not only am I into theme parks, amusement parks, vintage rides, fun fairs and things like that, I'm also into aviation. Now I have already covered some um, aircraft museums on the channel. I've been to Duxford before, we've done the RAF Museum at Hendon and I've, I've done quite a few of them. Anyway, so we're driving back from uh, the uh, Clifton Park where we were before and I thought I'm sure there's an air aircraft museum around here just near the uh, Midlands um, Airport, West Midlands Airport which is just over there. So we've come to the East Midlands Aero Park. I think I did say East Midlands Airport didn't I? I'm sure I did. But yeah we've come to the Aero Park. It's a fiver to get in. We've just parked up over there. It's a very short vlog. There isn't going to be much in it. It's probably not going to be very interesting for a lot of people but I love military aircraft. Um, I do like my civil aviation as well. I mean I used to work at Heathrow. A lot of you would probably know that and I love aeroplanes. I'm more into my um, military stuff though, there's a Vulcan just over there as well, so there's a few planes here that I have seen before. I used to be in the Air Cadets when I was younger as well, so huge into aircraft and aviation and stuff like that, so for a lot of people that are into that, this might be right up your street. So I've got a map telling me what's here, I know quite a lot of what is already here. So the first thing here is a Jaguar uh, jet. Um, I'm, I'm just looking to make sure that I've got it correct, but well, I should know because <laughs> like I said I was in the Air Cadets as a kid. So yeah, you got a Jaguar just here and it's, oh, it's so hot though. It really is. We stopped and just had a drink at the services as well. So here's a bigger part, um, a bigger map of what I've got here. So it just shows you what there is. So there's actually 35 objects to look at, not just aircraft, but you've got the lights as well. Uh, to look at that is the first thing you are here uh, number one is a Raleigh so you've got a VC10 fuselage as well which you can just see just here you've got radars uh, which the lights are just over there it's just here uh, visible sensors for fog and service movement radars that's what they are there so what you've got here I think that's the front of a what is that um, so number two is the VC-10. These two aren't actually on the map. Uh, at least I don't think they are. No, they're not. They're not on the map. So I'm not sure what that is. Is it the... Oh, it's a Vanguard there, yeah. So that's just the front of that. Yeah, this is the VC-10. This used to be a, a military plane for the RAF. Um, actually a fuel tanker. You can go in the planes Oh, there you go. It says it there, Royal Air Force Bryce Norton. So that's where that's come from. Vickers VC-10. Yeah, you can go in the aeroplanes, but not at the moment. Uh, she just she did say that they were closed. Wow. So you've got the side all open there, which wouldn't do that normally, I don't think. I think they've just cut a piece up so you can see the, pl the, uh, the seats in there. So there's a Bryce Norton sign. So it was used for air transport, air refueling and military parachuting. Wow, well, it's quite a decent size actually, there's quite a lot in it and you can go over and watch the aeroplanes coming in and land as well. So you've got a Lynx helicopter just here. So yeah, like I said, I am into aviation as well and if it wasn't for aviation as it is at the moment, then you know the things like what we have on roller coasters the cobra roll and the barrel rolls and the heartline rolls and the g stalls and the zero g rolls that sort of thing wouldn't even exist because it was they're all named after movements that an aeroplane would do so a lot of you that are into roller coasters you know you should really be into aviation as well because like i said if it wasn't for these sort of things then you know we wouldn't have a a G stall, Top Gun stall and all that sort of thing that you find on all day modern roller coasters. This is a English Electric Lightning. Is this one? 
not a keen of these i think they're a horrible looking thing yeah a friend of um that i used to go to the air cadets with was one of his favorite planes that's huge that there i'm not actually sure what that is i'll have to have a look at that number 20 22 that is a uh av a gossy i haven't really seen one of those before again a weird looking thing Quite a few planes down here. There is toilets here. Hawker Hunter. So a lot of these would have flown in the past and they've been restored or they've come to the end of their life here and just ended up staying where they are. So there's quite a few planes here. There's helicopters as well. So we won't be here long. It's like I said, it was on, we were on the way home and I just thought, oh, we might as well pop in. This is actually on the way to Alton Towers as well. If you go into Alton Towers, you would come past here. And I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but Donington Park Raceway isn't far away either, so there might be some racing on just there. We've got another aeroplane here as well. This is one of my favourites. Just here is the Buccaneer. Blackburn Buccaneer. Because I think that's where they were actually built. In Blackburn. Blackburn. The... Uh, Aerospace place just up there near Blackburn. Aeropark Buccaneer that tells you the information about it as well. So yeah, hope you're um, hope you're enjoying this vlog so far. Like I said, it's something that it's a bit different. I thought I might as well come and film something. I have to get some pictures as well. I haven't taken any so far. It's like a chipmunk in there. This is an indoor section. There's quite a lot of planes I've never seen before. Is this a chipmunk? Oh, I'll put my mask on. Hang on, it's in my pocket. <laughs> I think that's the front of a chipmunk. I'm sure it is. Just get my mask on. Just bear with me a second. It's really warm today. That's a chipmunk. Yeah, it is. I've flown one of those. I was in the Air Cadets. Yeah, it's actually a Canadian built plane, is that? It's a trainer for the area. That's that Jet Provost, is it? Oh, it's the Havilland Space Sea Venom. It's really cool, isn't it? I always wanted a model aeroplane, like a remote control one. Something I never got. That's why I quite like my drone. Engine. Bristol Hercules engine. Wow. Yeah, I've actually got a model shop over there. You get your little models. I used to do a lot of aircraft um, building when I was a kid as well. The um, Airfix model kits. I've got some simulators over there. Oh, there's another bit in there as well. Let's go in here quickly. Don't want to be here too late. Oh, it's just a workshop. We can come and have a look and see what they're restoring. So there's just some bits and bops in here. A couple of uh, projects on the go there. I think that's a jet provost just there. Not sure why that's off. some models in here there's a little cafe you can get a drink sit down a cup of tea or a cup of coffee yeah it's cool to see the chipmunk the wings from off there must be somewhere else it's stored away but yeah i've flown one of these yeah. pictures some more engines down here as well oh anything about the chipmunk yeah there we go de Havilland Canadian chipmunk T10 yeah <laughs> awesome pulled some g-force in one of those before and I started where I did my first aerobatics as well in one of those I felt sick as well <laughs> so 
so I can, uh, I don't know, I can sort of tolerate going on the roller coasters that go upside down now. But in the past, I was never too keen on it, really. What's, what is that? Britain SA1 Sheriff. Never heard of it. Never seen one of those either. Probably an old uh, civil aviation craft. So yeah, it's just a just a quick walk around really. There's one of my friends um, that I've, I've spoke to a few times called Jerry, uh, runs a YouTube channel and a Facebook page called Big Jet TV. Um, he was actually here last week. Um, I think it was in the evening. And you get a lot of cargo planes coming in and landing and taking off. And we'll go over there and have a look. But yeah, he was here last week. I thought, oh, I'll have a look. We'll visit there one day. And since we were driving past, I thought, why not? So like I said, they've got some helicopters as well. X84, what was it? 845 Squadron Naval Air Service in surface Arctic camo. It's all different styles of it, repainted. Arrived in 2017, repainted in 2020. So that's virtually brand new. A Sea King. It's quite windy as well today. It's absolutely good, you know. Here's the Vulcan, one of my all time favorite aeroplanes. These are massive. There's one at uh, the RAF Museum in Hendon and it pretty much takes up the whole of the, uh, the room. There used to be one of these at Blackpool Airport as well. You see they put the spikes on the top of the fin there to stop birds landing on it. But it didn't really help much, does it? <laughs> I don't know if the camera's picking that up. But there's mess all the, down the side of there. Westland Whirlwind, just here. So there's all sorts of bits of aircraft at the back of there. And this one's covered up. This is... Let's see what that one is. Yeah, vampire, I thought it was. I just didn't want to say to make me look stupid. <laughs> De Havilland Vampire. There's actually one of these doing an air in an air show a few years ago now and it crashed on the uh, on the motorway somewhere. It's quite nasty, but yeah. Here's your uh, your Vulcan. Wow. So normally in a, if it was in an actual museum inside you could walk underneath it and Look at the Bombay doors and things like that, but it's, it's you can't you can't go anywhere near it. It's all fenced off all the way around. But yeah, if you've got small again small children, bring them to places like this because they're very fascinating. You could spend quite a few hours actually going around reading everything. Well, like I said we're only just a quick visit really, just to show you what's here. Like I said, I do cover attractions as well. It's not just the theme parks and things like that. It is all sorts of things that we cover here on the channel Gloucester Meteor I think that was the UK's first jet powered aeroplane if I remember this is a Wessex Westland Wessex yeah that's faded that doesn't you can't really see it but yeah it's a Westland Wessex and one of my all time favourite planes just down here it's a Nimrod I've actually been in one of these REF Kinloss we did a a camp there when I was in the Air Cadets. One of my friends actually went up in one. They did a nighttime skirmish, and this is basically a um, search and rescue plane. This will go up with its radars and search the area. And if they find someone, then they call out the helicopter, normally like a Sea King or something, something like that, that will go out and then actually go and pick them up. But this should actually go out and search for people first. Beautiful aeroplane. It is windy today. I hope the uh, hope this sounds okay. I hope you can hear me okay. I don't think there's anything past this. But there's your viewing platform down there. Oh, you, I think there's a mound just over there as well. There isn't much coming in or out. But there's a there's a road just at the back of there where you can go and view. So yeah, I think I'll go and take a few pictures. But yeah, I love that. Right, so I'm saying I'm into my aviation. I actually have this app on my phone. I don't even think that's picking that anything up there. But it's called Flight 24 anyway. Is it picking it up? Can you see it? Yeah, they're just about there anyway, just about. So yeah, Flight 24, basically this 
is a radar app and it shows you oncoming planes so at the moment you can see the little dots there that's where i am and that's east midland airport there's nothing actually due in there's nothing on the radar at all well there's people sat up there uh looking around across there's plenty of planes over there there's your cargo hub dhl just over there on cargo jet so i'll go up here have a quick look and then uh head back the other way see what else they've got here and then uh, we'll make a move but again yeah like i said you know this this video is probably not for everyone it's not everyone's cup of tea but it's an attraction it's something to do if you know if you're into this sort of thing come down and check it out ah, let's go and have a look see if we can see anything from the airport oh there's quite a few things over there might give you a zoom in on my phone there's a viewing platform. I can hear something firing up down there. Yeah, so Donington's not far either. There's a lot of people sat out there in the cars. I can hear something firing up, but there's nothing on radar yet. 